and hang with us. We know we've got a lot of information on the coronavirus, but over in Maryland, scientists at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research are learning more about the coronavirus and a critical step in trying to stop the spread. Team 12's Gabe Gutierrez has a rare look inside the Army's race for a vaccine. These are the newest images we have of COVID-19. Mapped out in a secure government lab where researchers are urgently trying to understand the virus that's ravaging the world. This is a GPS for vaccine design. So without that understanding, you can drive along a road and you think you're going to the right direction, but with this level of detail, you actually know your destination. Dr. Gordon Joyce is the chief of structural biology here. For decades, the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research has studied infectious diseases, including HIV AIDS, Ebola, and MERS. Scientists now say part of the reason this coronavirus is so deadly is that those sharp objects sticking out of this microscopic protein essentially stab patients' lungs. This is like a hook, and that's what it uses to bind to the lung cell. Now the race is on to figure out how to stop them. These different colored objects are antibodies, and the goal is to try to get them to block this protein from attaching to the lungs. That's correct. What's happening here is one of many efforts, both public and private around the globe, to find the vaccine. It's a matter of not just public health, but national security. The initial stages of clinical trials are already underway in China, Europe, and the U.S. The first testing of humans with another experimental vaccine began days ago in Washington state. In some ways, is this a new type of arms race? I think probably the best kind of arms race in that we're not working in opposition with one another. We're working in collaboration with one another. But even a fast track vaccine likely won't be ready for 12 to 18 months. Dr. Sheila Peel is among those trying to learn more about the virus now to better help physicians diagnose and treat it. This is the most challenging scenario I have faced in my entire career. A challenge for which the stakes could not be higher. It's very, very urgent because we know that if we, if we don't do this, that the current pandemic is just going to continue until there are solutions that are effective. And we w we're doing our best to stop it as quickly as we can. A global race against time. All right, Gabe Gutierrez reporting there. We know all of the information surrounding the coronavirus can be overwhelming. You can stay up to date on your own time with the free 12 News app. It's in your app store to download if you don't already have it.